Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. Another one. And um, this one's special, guys. This is called the Grail Knife Unboxing, right? And um, I've been looking for this knife for about a week. And to me, that's like a long time. Like, if I get hooked on something and I really want it and... I can't find it. I will search and search and go to knife swap, go to blade forums, go to Instagram, go to Facebook, to the uh, group page for that maker, and I will try my damnedest to find one. Um, and I could not find this knife. This is the Brian Brown Knives Jaeger M. Um, I first saw this knife on Stasa 23's channel. Shout out to Nick. <laughs> And it just kind of went right past me. I just was like, eh, yeah, whatever. It's kind of cool. <laughs> but I never, like, was like, oh, my God, what is that? I got to find one. I never even heard of Brian Brown Knives. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, then I started hearing about it more and more from people on Instagram that I chat with. It kept coming up. The Jaeger M. The Jaeger. This knife is amazing. Like, it's the greatest knife it's, I've literally heard it's the greatest production knife ever from multiple people at this point. Some people I really respect in the community. Um, and it got me hooked. So I went to, uh, the Facebook group and uh, dude, you cannot find one of these. Like they're so hard to get. And it turns out a lot of people who have one have two. <laughs> they have, they have an all titanium one and a micarta inlay one. This knife is made by Riot, right? It's a very similar knife to me to the F5.5. You guys know I absolutely love this knife from Urban EDC Supply. And I say it's similar because it has the hole. It's made by Riot. It comes in an all tie. And then it comes in a micarta version. So it's kind of similar how they're set up. And I think they're going to be comparable. Um, so if I'm right, I will be doing a comparison. And... So yeah, like I just couldn't find one anywhere. I would I would state, you know, I would leave, um, you can leave like a post or a comment in the buy, sell, trade that says, you know, I'm looking for one of these. I have this to trade. And I put my Anthem up. I put my Satori 2.0 up, which by the way, both of those are gone. I've either sold or traded them. Um, I traded my Satori 2.0 yesterday for a Vero Mini Impulse. So I have that coming. Um, and I traded my Anthem for the Richard Rogers OEM Slut, which you've probably seen by now. I traded that to Jake over at Bearded Gear. Uh, he wanted an Anthem. I wanted a Slut. Boom. Worked out. Um, but yeah, so I tried and tried and I could not get one of these to shake loose. And there's this guy on Instagram. I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he wants me to. I always see him posting multiple knives like i don't know if he has a thing where he likes to get two of everything and he had two of these so i just messaged him on a whim and i said hey man is there any way you would give up one of your jaeger m's i really want one da 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 da, -da. and it just turned out the timing was good he had two of them and he needed cash for another thing coming up probably another knife and uh, I was able to finally pry one loose. Now, I paid a premium. I think these are $350 retail. They were sold as pre-orders on brianbrownknives.com, I think it is. Just Google brianbrownknives.com. And I think they were $350 new. And you could get all titanium or micarta inlay. Pricing could vary there. But I basically paid an extra $100. Um, but I'm fine with it because this is like the Ark of the Covenant. You know, this box right here is the Holy Grail. And um, I'm, if, as you could tell, I'm really stoked. I've built this knife up in my head. You guys have seen me do that before. And the letdown is real when that happens and it doesn't come through. So I'm really hoping this one comes through. One last thing I want to say before I finally get into this box, guys, is Brian Brown is awesome. So I've been on that Facebook group for about a week now. <laughs> And I've interacted with people on there. The Facebook group is awesome, cool community. I've talked to Brian Brown. I've messaged with him because I 
uh, he did a drop of uh, bit drivers. He makes these really, really cool um, bit drivers, and they have like a spinner on the back, and he made a run of zirconium ones, titanium ones, and I think brass ones, <clears throat> which he dropped on his website last week, and I was I was able to pick up one of the zirconium ones. I've always wanted a cool bit driver to take my knives apart. I'm really starting to put money into my other parts of the collection like I bought a nice or a decent like waterproof case uh, an Apache case um, I just I bought good tools to take them apart a mat you know what I mean so I'm, I'm trying to build that up too and not just worry about knives you know um, it's just fun to to kind of build the hobby as a whole and um, anyway so he is sending me that driver and I just chatted with him briefly while that was going on. And he just seems like a really down-to-earth, cool... He just seems like a knife guy who makes cool knives. And I really appreciate that. Um, so that makes me want to love this knife even more. So here we go, guys. Sorry for all that. Um, the unboxing knife is the Spider Co. Danger Pickle. The bombshell here. Finally got one of these. And I am... Happy as a clam. Is that the saying? Happy as a clam? I almost said lamb. So you guys tell me. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how slicey this knife is for being this thick. Um, but they put a really good hollow grind on this guy. Which, apparently, this Jaeger has one of the best hollow grinds around. So, put that away. Clips a little tight on that bombshell. So he really packaged the bejesus out of this, which I can appreciate. <clears throat> wow, look at this, guys. Cool. That's a nice way to package a knife, man. Just layers of foam. Is this a note? Hope you love it as much as I do. Thanks, bro. JBL at Knife Show on IG. There you go, guys. So he did want me to state that, I think. His name is uh, at Naf Show on Instagram. That's K-N-A-F-S-H-O-W. Naf Show. And this guy's awesome. Uh, we've been chatting a bit since, uh, I think originally I first spoke to him when... Um, when I was looking for the Pena knives, the X-Series front flippers and stuff, and I found a guy who was selling them, and uh, he wanted one, and I was able to connect them, and um, I mean, that's just what I love about this community, you know? We all try to help each other out, make sure we all get what we want. Like yesterday, when I traded my Satori, there was a, a bunch of people involved. Like, one guy had a Synapse XL, and another guy had a Mini Impulse, or he had two of them. And then there was another guy who wanted to buy a Synapse XL and a guy who wanted to trade for a mini impulse. And we kind of just all worked together, but separately. And we all got what we wanted. Like I got my mini impulse. The other guy got a Satori. The other guy traded the XL for the mini impulse or whatever. Like it was just really cool. And, you know, we're talking about expensive stuff here, but we all were cordial and civil and, and we just... You know, we made it where it was fun to trade and stuff. So, I just love this community. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Brian Brown Knives, a really cool leather pouch or faux leather. Feels really good. Um, oh, I can see the NAF. There are some stickers here, which is cool. There's a card in here. Let's see what that says. Don't worry. I'll get to the knife. McNeese Custom Knives. I don't think this is part of this. I think this is something else. Brian Brown Knives. Oh, here's a certificate of authenticity. Model, Jaeger M, Blade M390, frames, titanium with OD green inlay. Cool. Brian Brown Knives. This is his business card. So if you want to check him out or hit him up, he does custom work. Really cool custom work. Um, and then we just have a cool sticker here as well. So, all right. I know. I know. Take the knife out, Kev. 
Stop freaking rambling, right? Oh, okay, here it is. Whoo! Moment of truth, guys. Moment of truth. Oh, it's lighter than I thought. That's good. It's lighter than I thought, and it's bigger than I thought. Good, 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 good. Okay. Guys, this is the Brian Brown Knives Jaeger M. This, for all intents and purposes, is the holy grail of knives for me. We are dead centered. We have an inlay here. It's an interesting micarta, so I expected it to be more like um, like this, you know, like uh, I don't know how to explain it. textured micarta. This is more like smooth micarta, but that's fine. Um, we have titanium. We have this cool backspacer that runs the length, and then around the bottom here, we have a, a milled clip here, which seems like it has good tension. Let's see, in out yes all right ladies and gentlemen as a lefty this is a frame lock and we have a moment of truth here because there's only one way to open this naf okay okay can i choke her up can i choke her up so i could choke up to here okay back here it's a little bit tight back here, guys. I can get four on, but it's not, you know, it's good. It's good. Super, super slicey on this hollow grind. Look at this hollow grind, guys. This thing is lightweight. This thing must be milled out. Let's check the action on the close. So we don't have a flipper tab, guys, so we got to be careful. Let me do it left-handed the first time. Okay, so it's a shaker. I can get the middle finger flick pretty good. I'm wondering because my thumb really wants to go on this lock bar and I don't want to put pressure on it. And that is what happens. It locks up. So that's not, not a very good thing. Thumb flick. Okay, I can thumb flick it. Thumb flick is good. Yeah, the the, uh, the middle finger flick's tough, guys. So I gotta pay attention, you know, because it's a, a frame lock. Interesting. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna say, guys, right off the bat. I am not... Yeah, this is gonna be an issue, I think. I am not, like in love and drooling over this right now. Uh, it's definitely a cool knife. I definitely can see why people love it. I don't necessarily see yet why people think this is the greatest production knife of all time. I mean, just my initial, like, impressions. Um, the Fox F5.5 here feels more comfortable to me. Uh, you have the choil to choke up on. Uh, you have the liner lock, so you have no issues as a lefty flicking this open and closing it. So, I don't know, guys. I really like the weight on it. I might need to be cleaned. Oh, yeah, holy cow, this thing's dirty. I'm going to have to clean this bad boy out. I mean, the thumb flick is very good, right? And I was a little interested to figure out, like, would I prefer one with a flipper being left-handed? Would that make more sense? And that's possible. Um, the, the middle finger flick is just hard because I have to avoid this whole area here. Any pressure on the air. So I'm basically trying to, I'm trying to, like, focus on the pivot when I go to put my thumb down. You know? Um, I just have to play with it. The worst thing with a knife as a lefty is when you, you don't realize you're putting pressure on the lock bar. And then you go to flick it and you give it all that gas. And then you lock it up. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm starting to get the hang of this. Action is good. Man, it does fly out of there, guys. Man, 
Riot just kills it on the detent, don't they? And the thumb flick is really good with this one. So, yeah. Woo! All right. Starting to starting to feel it, guys. Uh, really cool design, regardless. And, you know, any qualms I have right now about this is related to that lock bar. And that is pretty much a uh, right or a left-handed problem. Um, so, it's not a problem with the knife. Like, if I was right-handed and good at being right-handed... You know, there's no issue with that lock bar. Would I love this to be a liner lock? Absolutely, because then, you know, it'd be more like this knife, and you wouldn't have to worry about any of that frame lock issue. Here's a comparison. So it's definitely a larger knife. Also, I want to note that a lot of the stuff I've heard about this knife and why it's so good is related to the blade. <laughs> And the cutting performance of this knife. And, and if you've watched my channel at all, you'll know that I'm not like a, a hard user. I don't use my knives all that much. You know, I cut tape, I open packages, I, I try to use them when I can. But um, I'm not like a heavy user of knives. So having this unbelievable, wow, this hollow grind is ridiculous. Just look at that. Um, having that, the benefits of it are not really noticed by somebody like me. Now, I haven't cut with this yet, so who knows? Uh, wow, this is thin, man. It's so light, too. Especially compared to this. Let me compare it to the carbon fiber, which I know that's not fair, but... Yeah, like, this is almost on par with this carbon fiber F5.5. Man, I love this knife so much. Ah... Um, but yeah, so interesting stuff, guys. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, I really like this. I really like this. I'm going to clean this up. Um, if I have some skiff bearings around that fit this, I might throw them in to kind of get that to be a little more drop shut because I want it to be drop shut. Um, but this thing is gorgeous looking. Um, I, I'm not like, you know, I'm not like dying happy that I got it. Uh, but I'm really excited, and I think I made a good choice here. I think I hunted a good knife, um, and I'm excited to get into it and carry it and uh, really get my first impressions on it, and I will come back to you guys with that. I know I have a lot of knives to give impressions on and review. I got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. I just keep getting more in, um, so I unbox them when they come in, and then I don't have time to do the impressions, but I'll get there, guys. Um, I will get there for sure. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I apologize for the extra long unboxing. I just wanted to explain my excitement and kind of uh, go over that. Man, this thing is cool, guys. Um, so this is the Brown, Brown, the Brian Browns, Jesus Christ, Brian Brown Knives, Jaeger M. And I love it. I love it. All right, cool. So you guys have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.